So what is going on everybody? How is everyone doing today? Daredevil19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mesco 112 Collective, The Joker. So let's get into it right away and start off with the box. So we do get a basic style box for the Mesco 112 line. On the top says 112 Collective, The Joker. On the center of the box we get a J for Joker. On the bottom says DC and then the bottom of the box has the barcode and bloody bust up that nobody cares about. And then here is the top of the box. And then here is the one side of it. We get that Joker J again. It says MescoToys.com at the bottom. And then the other side, pretty much the same thing. And then the back of it shows a bunch of cool poses. You can get the figure into along with some of the limited accessories. So that is the slip cover. Let's remove that. And then on the back of the actual box, we get a really big promo picture of the Joker figure, which looks awesome. And then the rest of the box is the same thing as the slip cover. We do get the flap here, which is magnetized, so you can open that up there. And then we do get some very nice artwork of the Joker with ha 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 everywhere in the background. And then the other side has the window with the figure and the limited amount of accessories. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure open and take a closer look at this psychopath. Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look, and Mesco did an outstanding job with this Joker, especially the faces. They look outstanding, and his suit looks pretty cool too. I would have preferred if they did go with the trench coat, which is what they first showed us when they showed promo images of this figure, but they went with a shorter uh, dress jacket. I mean, it still looks good, but I would have preferred the trench coat, and I feel like the suit needed a, a little more color, mostly like green or something, but it is their own take on the Joker, and I do like the way the figure turned out, and the face sculpts just, they look incredible, and that looks like the Joker to me. We do get the pale white skin, and then you kind of see like a darker uh, paint throughout his pale skin, and I feel like that's his skin tone underneath it, so I think they did a very nice job adding that in there. Nice sculpt on the ears and paint. We do get some uh, sculpted wrinkles on the top of his head and on the side of his cheeks because of his smile. Nice paint work on the eyes and eyebrows. Eyes, eyes both painted looking in the same direction. And I love the darker paint all around his eyes. That just really gives this Joker figure a nice look. And he does have the real long Joker nose there. And he does have the creepy Joker smile. And I love how they sculpted each individual tooth. The paint's nice and clean on all of them. We get a darker paint in between each tooth. And the uh, red for the lips, nice clean paintwork on it. And it is like a glossy red, so it does look pretty cool. They really did a great job on these uh, face, the face sculpts. And the hair looks great, too. Very nice sculpt and paintwork on them. And it seems like we have a very subtle black paint shading here and there in the hair. It's very subtle though, but it does give it a nice touch. Just very nice sculpt and paint all throughout the hair there. And then the neck, nice job on it too. We get the pale white skin with like the skin tone color mixed in with it. Now for the uh, suit here, the torso, we do get the dress jacket. And they did a nice job with it. It fits the figure pretty much perfectly and we get stitching all around the lining which looks pretty cool and around the sleeves as well. Nice work up on the collar, so I do like the way that looks. And the cool thing about this Joker is you can remove this. So I feel like they should have added buttons, though, on this jacket, like how there's buttons on the vest. But like I said, the cool thing about this Joker is you can remove this jacket. And it's much easier if you pop the hands off. I mean, you can take it off with the hands on, but it's so much easier, as you can see. With the hand on, you got to fight with it a little bit. I do like that option. I feel like he looks better without that dress jacket on. And then we do get his vest underneath. I love how we got the three buttons. You get the stitching as well. And then we do have the dress shirt underneath, which looks pretty cool. It's like a, uh, it's a striped uh, light purple and white uh, dress shirt. And then we do get the tie. And it's just amazing how they can add a tiny little tie around the collar and everything on a six-inch scale figure. So I really like how they were able to do that. Mine's a little crooked, but it's not horrible, you know. But very nice job on the torso there with the uh, cloth clothing. And then we do get his pale white arms here. Nice sculpt work on him. I really hate that they used a single jointed elbow there. I really don't like that they did that. Nice job on the hands. We'll get into that next. And then we do get the pants here. And they just look like some basic pants. I think they did a good job with them. As you can see there. I mean, they're a little baggy, but not extremely baggy. And another thing that I love about this figure is Mezco went the extra mile and Gave the Joker some Batman socks. I find that hilarious. <laughs> they did a nice sculpt work on them. We get some sculpted wrinkles around the ankles. The bat symbols just all around the socks. It's just... it's You just picture Joker doing something stupid like that. 
And I really like that Mezco added that on this figure. I think that really gave this figure a nice touch too. And then we do get the dress shoes here. Very nice sculpt and paint on them. We do get a darker paint shading all throughout them like a darker purple. And I like how they made the laces a lighter purple and they are sculpted on there. And I love how you can see the stitching all around his shoes on the top there on these sides. It's very nice uh, sculpt detail. And then we do get the brown for the soles. And they actually added a wash on them too, which is uh, pretty cool. And then we do get the peg holes as well. So overall, I think Mesco really did a very nice job with the detail on this Joker. The cloth clothing looks great. Yeah, they could have added like a little more green into it to make the figure pop more. And I wish they would have gave us the trench coat instead of this uh, dress jacket. But for what it is, for their own design and their own take on the Joker, I think they did a really good job with it. And I'm very satisfied with the detail. But anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories. We really don't get a whole bunch with this Joker. And I find this a bit disappointing, especially for this being a Mezco 112 figure with the price that you pay for them and they usually hook us up with a bunch of great accessories so to me this is one of the bigger disappointing things about the figure but what we do get with them is a mezco bag in case you would like to store your accessories in there so we do get that and then we do get the awesome mezco base and stand and i love the way the base looks how we got the ha 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 everywhere we do get the peg in case you would like to peg the joker on the stand and if you would like to unpeg that and make it a stand just take the bottom of the arm here, peg it into the bottom, and then the peg pops right out. And then take the arm, peg it into the top there. And then there you go, you have the stand set up, and it does swivel at the bottom, hinges at the bottom, hinges at the middle, hinges at the top, and then it swivels at the clamp, and then the clamp is also on a hinge. So we do get that. And then we also get two interchangeable heads. So we do get this one here on the left that comes on the figure out of the packaging that we did take a look at before. And this is the creepy smiling face. And they did a phenomenal job with that one. Then we do get this one here, the crazy laughing face. And I think they did an even better job with this one. This face looks great. We do get the pale white skin and then we get like the uh, darker uh, paint. I guess it's a skin tone color mixed in with the pale white skin. So very nice job with that. We get some great sculpt work like the sculpted wrinkles on the forehead, around the eyes, all around the mouth, on the cheeks and chin and stuff. Just great job on that. Nice work on the ears as well. And then I like how his right eye is opened a little bit more and his right eyebrow is raised up a little bit more compared to the left one. Both eyes painted looking in the same direction. So very nice paint work on the eyebrows and the eyes. And I love the uh, darker paint around the eyes. It just gives him a more evil menacing look. Just looks dope. And great work around the mouth, on the teeth, the tongue, the lips and everything. Just great job on it. There's even paint shading on the tongue. And they sculpted each tooth individually. Nice clean paint work on the teeth. Just very nice job on the face and the hair here. The hair looks so dope. They gave it like a messy, crazy type look. I like how there's pieces hanging off in the front. And that looks really awesome. It's a very nice job all throughout the sculpting of the hair. And the paint works nice and clean on it. We do get some black paint mixed in it here and there. So it gives it a nice touch. Just excellent job on this interchangeable face. The faces just look freaking incredible on this Joker. So we do get those. And then we also get the wind-up chomping teeth. And they did a nice job with this little accessory. And if you're curious, it does not articulate like how the SH Figure Arts and Justice Joker's chomping teeth did. But Mesco did a nice job with this, and I like how they added a very subtle black wash on the red, and then also on the yellow on the feet there, or that beige type color. And I like how the paint is nice and clean on all the teeth, and they did sculpt them all on there, so very good job with that. Then we do get the wind-up piece here, looking pretty cool. I mean, it's a cool little accessory that they added with this Joker, so we do get that. And then we also get Joker's Signature Revolver, I believe that's what this gun is. And they really did an excellent job with it. I love the way the handle looks, the sculpting on it. And then they did add like a wash or a paint shading on the purple handle there, so I think that looks pretty cool. And I love the way the rest of the gun looks, I love the color that they chose for it. I like how they added a black on the end of the barrel there, so very nice job with that. And just very nice tiny sculpt detail on this gun. Very cool looking piece. So we do get that, and then we finally get only five interchangeable hands, which is a bit disappointing. But we do get a pair of fists, which is the only pair of hands we get. And they did a great job with the paint and sculpt on these. They either put like a black 
or a dark purple paint shading on all the hands. It just looks really nice though. Just beautiful sculpt work on it. You see like the seams on the side of the hands there. And I like the sculpt work on the top of the hand. And then we see like stitching around the uh, wrist there. It's like a strap or something on the top of his glove. So a very nice job with these. And they are very simple to interchange all the hands. So we do get a pair of fists. And then we get only one right trigger finger hand. I wish we would have got a pair of them. But very nice paint and sculpt on this as well. And he does grip onto his gun perfectly with this. So we get that. And then we get one left open palm hand, which is meant for him to hold the wind-up chomping teeth. Very nice paint and sculpt on this one. So good job with that. And then finally, we get one right card holding hand. And they did a great job on the card. You can see that's a jester. It says Joker on the top left and bottom right. So very nice job with that. And then the back of it looks pretty cool. So awesome work on the card. And the hand looks great too. Very nice paint and sculpt. But anyway, that is all the accessories included with Mr. J. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. Now for the height of the Clown Prince of Crime. It looks like he stands a little bit over six and a half inches tall. And then here he is compared to the Mafex Suicide Squad Joker, the SH Figure Arts Suicide Squad Joker, the SH Figure Arts Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, and the SH Figure Arts Injustice Harley Quinn. And then here he is compared to the Mezco 112 Green Arrow and the Mezco 112 Dawn of Justice Batman. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Shadowland Daredevil. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation, and this is where this figure does lack a little bit compared to other Mezco 112 figures. So we only get one neck joint, which is the lower neck, and Joker can look up about that much and then down about that much so pretty good forward and back movement there and then we do get very nice pivot and then it also swivels so I do wish that we did have the uh, two neck joints instead of just one now we do get a point of articulation at the torso the one on mine is very stiff though but he can go forward about that much he might be able to go forward a little bit more goes back about that much do get a little bit of pivot there. Wow, that joint is really tight. And then it swivels really well. Now the waist, I don't know if there's any movement here because it really does not move at all at the waist. So I feel like I just have articulation at the torso. I don't know if it's just my figure, but I can't get any movement out of the waist. Now the shoulders, we don't get a butterfly joint. I like I don't feel any type of butterfly joint, which I find odd cuz Mezco always puts that on their 112 figures. But the arms do go out to the sides a little more than 90 degrees, so that's good. They do go up and down, no bicep swivels, so you will have to use it at the shoulder or you could use it at the elbow joint and then we only get a single bend at the elbow joint. I find that a bit disappointing as well cuz it just barely bends 90 degrees. And we do have a ball hinge at the wrist so it does swivel and hinges back and forth so nice movement at the wrist there now for the legs the joker can kick forward about 90 degrees so nice movement there goes to the back a decent amount and then only kicks out to the side uh, about 45 degrees maybe a little more than 45 degrees and then we do get the upper thigh swivel we have double jointed knees that bend back all the way so nice movement there now for the ankles here they do swivel they hinge up a really good amount and then hinge down a decent amount as well. And then we only get a little bit of pivot. It goes better going outward, but it doesn't really go inward too much. I mean, overall, it's not the best articulation. I don't know why they went this route instead of what they usually do. But I mean, you're still going to get them in some pretty cool poses, but not as good as other uh, 112 figures. And I'm about to show you some of those poses right about now. But anyway, that is my review of the Mezco 112 Collective Joker. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure between a 1 through 10, I'd have to give it a 7.5. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure, you can head over to HLSGeeks.com. I believe he should be getting this in stock in a few weeks. And don't forget, if you purchase something from there, to enter in code name Daredevil to get yourself a 5% off discount. I will put more information 
in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell icon. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just give it a thumbs up anyway because action figures are awesome. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. Daredevil 19 here, and tch, whoa, was I hitting puberty there? What the hell? This is 112 Collective, the Joker. We do get a J for Joker right on the center of the box. It says, blah, 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 and -ba -boo. So we do get a basic style box for the Mezco 112 line. It says, cha -ba boo and ba ba da ba now for the height of the Prince Clown Prince, fucking shit. The Mayfax Suicide Squad Joker, the Maya Chawawa. The SH Figure Arts Awaken Warrior Super Saiyan Goku, and the Mezco. The Mezco 112 Green Arrow and the Mezco One Cha Babu. And then the peg just pops out, and when you want to set up the stand here, just peg in the. Oh my god, that was weird. And then we do get Joker's signature revolver. I believe that's what it is. And they did an excellent job with it. I love. Whoops. But you're still going to get them in some okay poses, and I will show you some of them right about now. Whoops, he fell.